I did hit record, but I hit record on audio only, so it'll be for the, if I ever put this out in podcast form. Everybody, it's that time of week where we get together and smoke some. (laughs) Hey, everybody. Two guys, two hoots here. You got a long ass eyebrow. (laughs) Or one, no, no, not eyelash, eyebrow. Eyebrow hair. It's gangsta. I have no eyebrows. Where'd they go? No idea. No. When did you lose no them? I brown, I didn't lose no eyebrow. No idea. I like they it. they never came about. Yeah, take, your, take the rim of your hat off. Take a look. I don't have eyebrows. I see them. They're, they're there. Kind of blonde. They're, no, they're little. They're in, like that. They're long. invisible. They're fine. About the size of my cock. They're little. They're fine. Yeah. Like Nuprin. They're little. Yellow. Still different. Apparent. And you know what? Nobody's ever like you know eyebrow having motherfucker. Like nobody ever realizes that I don't have eyebrows. My mine were blonde when I was growing up, and people used to call me browless. Damn, really? Yeah. I've seriously never got any Browless, fat At least boy, not to my face Pussy white Hey you <laughs> And then that was just my dad um, Oh <laughs> <laughs> Alright so if you can't tell by now We have a third Hooter in here Yeah wow. A return a, retur- a returning owl Return, return of, of the ma- hoot <laughs> no, I was gonna say Mac but well, I was right there with you That's way. probably inappropriate Why? Which one the Mac return Or the, the Mac? hoot Yeah cause I'm a, I'm a married man I can't yeah, but you're, you're not really returning to Mac. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't. I don't plan to return to Mac. Nor do I ever think I was actually ever a Mac. A Mac. Yeah. A Mac. So, I quote, Mac. quote. <laughs> it's nothing to return to. <laughs> Thought it was cheese. Anyway, Mark Morrison. Shout out. Who? The guy who sung that song. Mm. And that's. It had a really kicking bass drop to it. Did I share that? Sure. Um, is Lincoln it below. Rick Rick An- Ains- is the Rick Ainsley. Ainsley? Did I share Rick that, that Rick thing Roll? where he? Uh, I think it was him that did a cover of another song. Mm-mm, no, Have I you seen some- Reggie Watts cover that song. Yeah, he uh, never cover here. Yeah, it doesn't say a he single word. Say a single word. It's just so funny. <laughs> it shit is so Great. funny. Great, Reggie Watts. Shout out to you. He is pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty he was good. on an episode of Rogan a couple days ago. Yeah, it's a, a week or so shit, Apparently, yeah. at least that's what the. Uh, caption maybe. on YouTube said. I may I watched it. I don't recall. I remember them talking about guns, but I don't remember what they talked about. What do you think of the the logo, man? HMP it looks like you made it. I did. <laughs> it's a graphic design. Your passion. It was an app on a phone. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make another? Guy. One? Let's make another one. I, That's I, what well, it is. His I, man I, cave I, I I got a logo for a company that. I've yet to get off the ground that I got a legit graphic uh, design artist to do. Well, tell us about the company. It came out really, really well. What did it cost you? Uh, I want to say like 100, 150 bucks or something. I ain't, I ain't, they have to sponsor us. That Doing what? I doubt that happens. <coughs> it was well, then look how good that logo looks. Because, there. you know, it was, uh, what is it? What, what is the period for? Is that a period? What is the dot at the end? I don't know. It was just part of the logo. He got but you made the logo. I know, but it was part of the logo. All I did was change the text, so that little dot was still there in the whole thing. HMP. Where? HMP dot. HMP dot com. HMP dot dot dot. Period, motherfucker. HMP period. But so, the period's at the bottom. So it, for those of y'all that are listening, that's I'm, more of a. I'm. I think I'm about to buy a new house. I kind of knew that already. I know you do. But <laughs> if I do well, that. I kind of knew that already, too. Yeah, I know that. But nobody Spoil, else did. Spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. Well, Johnny's well, looking to buy a new house. Yeah. Well, I found one. And it's got a monster-ass man cave. So I think his man cave productions here soon. I don't know when yet. But coming up, we're going to have a whole new project and start to finish the, the man cave over there. But isn't it already finished? No, nah. God no, hell oh, no! I thought you said it was. Is anything ready, ever ready. really finished? Well, no, no, no. All right, so look here. Here's here's a picture. Your Mac and Day's art. Yeah, Touché. there you go. Assuming they ever. I like what you did there. Began. Yeah. That was a callback. Yeah. There you go. So, all right, I'm going to show a picture uh, that I took the other day of inside the garage. Now. Oh yeah, that's a little pretty cool. No, it looks like shit. Trust me. <laughs> uh, and then here's another picture, just random. Looks like shit too. Am I, am I? No, no, no. It's this is for. <laughs> see, look, I got him this episode. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I'll see what's going on Not here. Never mind. I'll edit it in. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It'll be but here. we did an episode a while back where it was the four guys, four hoots episode, where we were talking about something that I something, and <laughs> Some I was ribs like, ribs that he made. I was like, here's a picture of the ribs, and everybody in the room looked All at the TV, and I TV. just died. It was so great. It was. 
not that great. It but was hilarious. It is what it is. Well, what really fucked me up is that you were playing along, and you were like, oh, it looks Well, like, but he knows, like, too, you know, so. Yeah, yeah no, well, he yeah, knows yeah, I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, so. So, but no, that's, I just, that's I knew that. Like this. Yeah, yeah, that's what will happen is I'll edit some pictures. Damn in, it, but now I we've took, let them know our secrets. What, editing? Yes. We'll have that? to beep that out. It ain't magic, motherfucker. I can, I can edit it. <laughs> Yeah, if they didn't know that I edited in the atomic blast at the end of these episodes, and that's just not something we're setting off oh, here in Southern what it California. Is. Now, whenever someone's like, yeah, I listen to your show all the time, we like, oh, yeah, how does the end of the show end? The yeah, I ain't going to lie. Nope. I had no idea. You well, that's the last, that the last episode. So you remember because I did it a, a while back. Yeah. I think with Four Guys, Four Hoots, I did it. And then the last one, if you listen to the last, like, four minutes of it, 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 it goes off like nine times. <laughs> Because I'm just talking shit. Oh, that's funny. You got to back epic, up your backup. Had an epic Johnny freak out moment on, caught on camera. That was great. Oh, the fork incident? Mm. Mm-hmm. Shit. Yeah, this motherfucker. So the first episodes that we did, I was on camera. He wasn't. Oh. Yeah. And then this motherfucker, I get up to go piss or something, and I leave him and my wife in here talking. My wife's not on camera. It's just neither is he. They're just talking off camera. And uh, he, he starts talking something about something. And uh, when I come back in, he's like, uh, let's see if he can find it. And I immediately start looking for the fork. You know what I mean? Like, and I, uh, there wasn't even a fork, but I was talking about how freaked out he was going to be. If I had a fork, I could rub it across my teeth real quick. And then when he listened to it on the playback, it would freak him out. But instead, he guessed it instantly about Damn. the fork. And started freaking out about it. Uh-huh. And, like, the rest of the time was just, like, <sighs> like doing the shakes and yeah, the heebie-jeebies the, and the stuff The heebie-jeebies. Like Hair on the back of my neck standing up right now thinking about it. I can't stand a fucking fork against uh, teeth. HMP, his man pussy. His man Damn. pussy. Damn. That's good. And the period's up high. That Now the period makes sense. Now it flows. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God damn it. Oh, man, my wife's going to hate this episode. <laughs> she listened? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, doll. Yeah, no doubt. Shut up. I'll so, edit anything you want me to. Tries to. We're just some lame crackers. Yeah, though. we just kind of suck. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't suck so bad. Yeah, it'd be different like, if we had something to talk that? about. Oh. Well, uh, yeah. we have no right, substance. We're, we're really just talking about we're, shit. Yeah, we're just yeah. dummies. We're just sitting here looking at each other. That's all it is. She so. she thinks we're dumb. Hey, but mission, she loves me anyway. Mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah, because we're That's fucking idiots. That's so all I, uh, I finally watched The Watchmen. I know we had had uh, conversations that is a cool about ass it. TV show, or I guess uh, it, HBO series. It was a very good uh, TV show. Have you I seen enjoyed it? it a I lot. have not. I watched seven five zero zero last night. What the fuck the is fuck that? Is yeah, that? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on you, but go. You can go ahead, and we'll talk What's about 7, that. Seven five zero zero. It's the, apparently the uh, the the number call for when a plane's being hijacked, and it was a uh, Amazon. Oh, movie. Uh, I thought movie. that was like the name of the. I thought that was one of the flight numbers from nine eleven. That's yeah. how they try to market that shit, man. They made me think that that was a fucking. That's the oh, story of the nine eleven uh, hijacking. Yeah. Nah, I mean, at both of the previews that I saw, he made it very clear that uh, uh, we have a seven five zero zero. Where the plane is being hijacked. He said it in both the previews. I, I missed saw. that. I, uh, I saw the. I saw the. I uh, need trailer some new stuff to watch. Man. This yeah. apparently came out on fucking Sunday or something, and uh, I watched. It wasn't bad. It was good. Um, oh, I'm good, man. I'm I'm staring down the barrel of my 13th transatlantic flight, and that number alone is kind of. Are you excited or? We're, Oh, you're off by the number? Yeah, the number seems kind of weird, what, uh, so I definitely want to watch a fucking movie about a plane getting hijacked. Did you see the post on Facebook I made today? And it was like 13. I'm the worst number. Below the was unluckiest. like... Yeah, I'm the unluckiest number. Below, it was like 666, and it was like... How cute. Uh, something weird. And then 2020 was like, hold my beer. Yeah. No <laughs> shit. Yeah, 2020's got it. We do not have perfect vision this year. Yeah, no kidding. 20, Nobody can perfectly see this shit coming. 2020 has been just absolutely wild. From murder hornets to... It's been a long, I'm pretty sure we got murder hornets at my apartment complex. We yeah. definitely got some big-ass hornets with big yellow stripes on them. And I know you can't see my finger, audience, but I'm making a gap with them that's about an inch and a half wide. The Motherfucker, place, that's five inches five. if I've ever seen it. Nah, bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Why ruler you you're girls using to measure your dick. Nah, I, started the, I started the spleen. 
Oh uh, yeah. So. But you think you got murder murder hornets for real? They're big hornets. and they're aggressive, but they don't. They just kind of fake. They just trying to like flex on you. You know what I'm saying? Like hit that motherfucker with a tennis racket. Yeah, they don't ever do shit. They don't ever like land on you or try to sting you or nothing. I could yeah, be sure wrong, hornets. Man. Don't, sure don't they're not dragonflies. <laughs> no. They, well, honestly, I've never seen these things before. Until That's crazy. This year, yeah. And they're living in a, in a bush that I walk by every day to go to my car. Well, they can't be murder hornets if they hadn't murdered you. They're not not living up to their name. I don't think murder. that's what it means, but no. it's murder. <laughs> Some hornets that you don't want to try. One. Some what? Some hornets that you don't want to try. My hornets. Murder hornets. That's enough. Of the DMX or the yeah. Jaro? That, yeah, that was all. Awesome. Hmm. It's just too too cheesy. Some hornets that's really yeah, do no, it. No, 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 come no, on. No, no, that's kind of no. catchy. I like Make it. Make say. No. <laughs> guys, no, guys. No, 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 guys. No. Get a, get a handle on it. I'm, a, I'm the colonel of this golden platinum hive. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus. We can keep this going for a while, I'm sure. I wish I don't know about all that. Or on a Memphis label or some shit. Maybe so. He put with currency for a while. Probably still does. I don't know. Can be real tight, but. I don't know. But I know back in the day. That's the second time I mentioned currency in this podcast. Like money uh, or somebody? No, the rap artist. Rap I'm good. I'm still good. Still good on that. Oh. Time for another? Would yeah. You, would you like That's to start the dance? I don't mind. Y'all, uh. Do we, no, you can't leave us. I have to for two seconds. Oh, Jesus. I have to. That's fine. To do what? Well, I wasn't expecting a third hoot. So I, was, I wasn't expecting the. Th- the time, so I just got to run in there and tell them, "Hey, good night. I love y'all." And then, well, right that's back wholesome as fuck. So I, you can do, especially yeah, if yeah, you yeah, yeah, Father's Day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. y'all Father's can get Day. started. Okay. okay, we'll wait till he gets out, and then we can't have this. Uh, man, this okay, fucking old fork. bitch ass dude, get man. The fork. You get know, the fork. he fucks around on his wife three <laughs> times, and oh, now all of a sudden he's Mister Wholesome Fucking Dad, like. Oh, let me go say goodnight to my wife and my kids. I'm such Bro, a good dad. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Fucking motherfucker. So anyway, back to shooting things up. You got like a little stick of dynamite? Uh, One of those nah. things that can blow up like a watermelon? We'll put it on a watermelon and... No, nah, they got this stuff called Tannerite. Yeah, Tannerite. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. No, Let's go I get some Tannerite. Any. I don't have any of that. Is it illegal? Time. No, you can buy it at fucking oh, okay. Enemy Sports. Okay, well, shit. Sure. <laughs> Look, I'm like, is it illegal? Like, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, it's not illegal. <laughs> like, this is it. <laughs> Apparently, it's, it's like not California. weapons grade explosives or something. I don't know. I, I guess they get away with it the same way fire crackers, worker. I don't, I'm thinking I don't about know anything about a, that shit, man. I'm thinking about getting me a 38, a little snubby. The, not really, man. The most not easiest concealed no, gun. 30, a 38 is better. I mean, it ain't a 380, no, you know. And, but, but it's um, it's a bag back off me. I just uh, not a big fan of revolvers. Well, I'm a semi-automatic it's guy. It's very Always lightweight, though. I mean, it's, I was very impressed by your SIG and how lightweight it was. Imagine that color green, but a revolver, 38 snub. Yeah. Super light. I mean, it almost felt like fucking like rubber in my hand. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'm sure so it is mostly polymer. Just just the lightness of it really or impressed grip, me. Probably was yeah. it a grip polymer or was it wood or? Uh, no, it wasn't wood. It was like all. It was like grip polymer for yeah. sure. Yeah. Uh, you just real limited. I mean, once them was was it a six shot, eight shot, six six shots. Oh, well, I mean, you know. Yeah, you, you got. You really need more than six. Yeah, you got damn right you do. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> Sometimes. You fucking. Uh, bro, when you discharge your firearm, you're initiating a. And you should never initiate. But what what happens is. is What happens subsequently is you. It's called a gunfight. Right. And you don't want to bring six rounds to a fucking gunfight. Right. But you, you don't, don't mind having that as your backup when your big guy is out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you if you're if you think you're Bruce Willis and you want to stuff it down in your boot or some shit like that, maybe I guess I know. you know what I'm saying. I mean, I like it. I don't want to walk around with a big old fucking nine or anything on me. I, I not hey. that they're that big. It's just something I don't want to. You know, if I were to walk around and carry a gun, I would want something super small, concealed. 
you know you can conceal you can conceal things you got to get creative with your everyday carry loadout you know what i mean sometimes but i mean shit i carry extra mags fuck you talking about a full-size pistol and i gotta extend those 21 round magazines did those finally come yeah in? they did nice yeah oh oh here yeah, I should have. Damn, I here. said your name. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Beep. Yeah. We just keep it rolling, so, you know. Yeah, I just keep it going. And I've already said his name at least once. Edit it out. Why, did you, why the fuck are y'all saying my name? Keep my name out your motherfucking mouth. Say keep your motherfucking name, mouth shut. Say my name. I was talking directly to you. I waited on you. He waited oh, on you, thank though. thank you. Uh, keep so, my, fuck you. Keep my hornet about your mouth and keep your motherfucking hornet shut. I don't know. I'm just trying to go back <laughs> old school rap. So while you were gone, just to bring you in on what we were talking about, we were kind of talking about everyday carry as Up far as speed. As far as guns. Uh, guns are concerned, he's considered getting a 38 special, and I was curious. Little snub nose? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bam. Um, Revolver, yep. obviously. Mm -hmm. Do a snubby. I don't know. They're not that much. It's under Full 300. How much? Yeah, I mean, under three. Cool. Oh, I, I thought you said Smith under Smith or Taurus or something. Huh? Probably Smith and I'm Wesson I'm not sure what it is, man, to be 100% where, honest. Where, where, where are you looking Built at laser? this at? Um, well, you know. Probably got one of the Crimson Trace laser groups. I don't go and buy guns. Okay, where are you Where are you considering getting it? I'm not sure where he got it from. Probably one of the, the oh, academies. Okay. It's or, a sale thing. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. I, well, I just told you I don't buy guns. P.S. I love you. Private sale. Yeah. You know. Well, every gun I've ever bought has been from somebody. Man, I still regret letting uh, letting one of my homeboys uh, buy their gun back. I don't know where that. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows at this point. Yeah. How many times you did that? Look, 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 look. Private sales are legal in Louisiana, all right? So, so you don't have to be weird talking about this thing. But oh, I no, sold no. that gun a long time ago. No, but how many times do you think that thing has changed hands? I personally have bought that gun probably at least four times, I including the first time I right? bought it. Where Which did one? I buy it uh, twice? 1911. That 1911? Yeah. yeah. I bought it once. I once did I buy it once or twice? I want to say you bought it twice, but I want to say you bought it from him. I was about to say, yeah, I, you I bought, bought it from it him, and then, then you bought it from me. I bought it from you, yeah, and sold, sold it to it you, to and then bought it back from you, yeah. and then ended sold up selling it back, it back to, to whoever, some shit like that. Well, Somebody that wanted it me. back, if I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, it was me. Okay. Yeah, not the guy. I was thinking it was. it was the guy that wanted it back, but no, yeah. That was no, that, that dude knows. That night, I hope he gorgeous. never works. He thinks I still have that thing because the circumstances. Be yeah, right. Yeah. This <laughs> like we if flat line. <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't think he'll ever listen to this. But a anyway, <laughs> if he does, I don't, I don't care. He, the the dude. We'll have a laugh. He's definitely gonna it. know because he's definitely gonna know when I tell this story. But the dude was in a box and he had went to the. Uh, Anyway, he went, to he went to the casino and lost all his fucking money. He lives in goddamn Opelousas. He didn't have no way to go home. So he said, he insisted I buy that thing from him. But at the time, I didn't have any extra money. In my, so I ended up paying like a ridiculously, that's why we hoarded out like that and sold it to each other for pennies on the dollar. You know what Can I'm saying? I say like, I, I'm not going to I don't it. care. But. But that's why is because I, when I bought it from him, I want to say I gave him like 150 bucks for it. Or it was ridiculously low because that's all I could spare. And he wouldn't. I offered him money. I was like, here, just take this, just pay borrow. me back. Or you want to just borrow some shit enough to get you home, whatever. And he was just, he was Insistent adamant about not. Gun. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't want to do he that. Didn't he, didn't, he didn't want the handout. He didn't want the handout. And he also didn't want to have to pay me back. So he just wanted to fucking. You know, because me and this guy don't see each other all that time. You right. know what I mean? So yeah. he didn't, he didn't have to want to have to worry about that or worried about us not being friends no more because he owed me some dumb money or some right. shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit happens. So I was like, all right, I, this is all okay. I got, bro. This is all I can do. <laughs> like he was like, fuck it, I gotta do it. And man, that thing. Oh, did anybody ever even shoot that motherfucker? No, never pulled the trigger. <laughs> I never pulled the trigger either. What the fuck? But, uh, I, well, I mean, I, I wanted to go. I wanted to go and do it, uh, but just never did. I never did it because I I purchased it under the the knowledge that it was probably going to be taken from me at one point. Why? Because you had told me you would you were going to want it back. It. I mean. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. When yeah. I sold it to you, it was yeah, it, it was, was almost like a pawn it, agreement yeah, kind all, of thing. That's all it kind of was. I get but what like you're saying. It, yeah. yeah. 
But that's I don't I want to say that's why saying. I never took because the first time I well, anyway that's why I never shot it was because I knew that I. I'd fall it was just too it. heavy for me. That this is a big boy. That motherfucker right there was something. This is a big boy. boy. Yeah, I'm, I've always carried. Was it a nine stack or a thirteen? Yeah, it was a single stack. Yeah, just nine. But uh, I've always been a full size carry guy. And I, I, dude, some of those. Yeah, but I don't think of your sig as a full size because it's, it's a full so size pistol. I mean, it's the M seventeen it too. It it's is, not. I mean, there's there's a compact carry it's, version it's of a, it too. It's a light. Yeah. It's a lighter. It's nine mic. Like nineteen. Yeah, it's nine millimeter. Oh, man, dude, that sucker was like carrying two kettlebells around with you. It's the same. It's the same size. Mm. It's just there's know, way more po- the sig. More the sig has way more polymer, mm-hmm. and. uh so of course it's I guess a little heavier in that respect, but uh, are you for concealed or open carry only? No, no, I'm definitely for concealed. I think I'm I'm a big constitutional carry guy. I don't think you should have to have a permit to carry concealed. In I fact, I think like all gun laws are infringements. Just for the record. Boom. Hey, I can respect everything you just every said. single one of them. But um, I feel like I shouldn't tell you if I have a gun or not. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, well, the thing is, if you know, just any, assume it's there. If you know anything about tactics, you know that carrying a big dumb gun on your goddamn hip immediately sure identifies yourself as, soon as, as I a see target. Somebody within like, there, I'm like, yep. yeah, great, like great, no great, doubt about it. Like if I really got it on my mind to come in there and commit some crime, you are no doubt the first person I'm gonna fucking smoke. Yeah, and, and you'll I'm, never see me coming. And I'm, probably, or, you know, yes. hypothetically, a crim- that's the way a criminal would think. Right. And there is no warning like in the movie with those. No. Uh-uh down yeah yeah and that's those are the kind of situations you got to worry about like i mean uh, sure we live where we live and getting robbed is a very real thing and your six shooter might fucking get you out of that situation man but you cannot if any kind of active shooter shooter situation you're gonna man you Uh, well i mean and are and a pistol like a pistol realistically today's active active shooters here are normally one person maybe two people well, but a yeah, pistol with, in that situation. Uh, with large am- ammunition capacity. Well, yes. If they're carrying extra mags. I mean, I'm not going to sit shots. there and, and duke it out with somebody with an AR-15. You, um, you're gonna have, no, you're going to have to move to a, a safe position. Get yourself out of the danger area. You know what I'm well, saying? And that's what that but in order to do that, you may have to fucking fight your way through that. that. That's the only way. If you end up in the wrong place at the wrong time, that's the only way to get through an ambush. you got to assault through that motherfucker. You know what I'm true. saying? So if you end up in the middle of the shit, that may be your only way out. Right, but at the end of the day, of if you have a six-shooter, at least you got the ability to make that motherfucker put his head down for a minute if you ain't got nothing I dude mean, look, ain't, man, ain't nobody ducking no 38 no nobody with level four ceramic plates in a carrier yeah, is worried but, about I a mean, goddamn 38 man the, well, I mean, or I a nine mean, millimeter or a nine millimeter for I that can, matter I but what i'm saying that, like, what you're saying but when i am trying to run and hide and i actually have the ability to fire back Odds are, if I'm shooting in his direction, he's probably going to take cover. Do most active shooters go armed to the teeth and ballistic gear? Yeah, they also? bring whatever they can get. I oh, mean, I thought I most re- of them just like show up with yeah, like I, I remember the shoddy guys and in just California. start shooting people up. They showed well, up fully can, armed with fucking face helmets and shit. Yeah, that was way back in the day when they had the right, AKs. Like they had fully auto AKs. And fucking, you know, motherfuckers Man, those, a lot theater. of times those yeah. dudes have, uh, have some sort of armor, even if it's just soft armor and stuff like that. Those guys aren't legitimate <laughs> gear queers. Yeah, no, so, it's like a tactical you know what I'm saying? But Yeah, or some of them have, like, s- uh, stolen police shit, and police don't wear high-speed gear. And, and they shouldn't be militarized, so uh, that's no slight to them. But you know, dragon they, skin. They for the most part wear soft armor. Stopping um, nine millimeters, probably not a puncture, right? Wouldn't stop a knife. Yeah, you stab right through a bulletproof vest. Soft With a armor, yeah. Right? yeah. And it, and it might be different. I don't know. I, I want to say I think I've seen sheriffs wearing plates. If you work in a rural area, you really do need plates because the guns out there. And you're worried about getting shot with a gun, and maybe yeah. not even during the commission of a crime. Just you're out at some Period. people's house for some shit or something, or you're out there looking for something and somebody's shooting and don't realize you're there or something like that. You, 30 like 6 is a very popular rifle in rural Louisiana because it'll fucking take a deer down, no problem. Yeah. High, very accurate, high-powered thing. And you need you need really good body armor to stop that shit. You need the top tier of body armor to stop that. I'm sorry. Was that what the police and stuff are armed with? 
the no, top tier. He's talking about having Typically like. Typically not. But if you're a it police. It's soft armor that has pockets that you put plates in. Mm. Correct? Cause so, so you well, can do it Yeah, there, there's a, there's a million different plates, ways to do it. Steel, yeah, ceramic, they have modular yeah. ones like that for sure. Um, but typically, uh, officers wear this this bulletproof vest, and I'm it's using air quotes here. It's typically made of Kevlar, right. yes. It's a, it's a um, thin one, so it can but be it's hidden like underneath soft your armor. clothes. Or yeah, not, yeah, so you can yeah. put it on under, uh, you know, one of those uniform. snazzy shirts yeah. that they put the badge, you know, that look... Now more, the guys that you see like SWAT, than, the SWAT guys, are SWAT gonna, dudes are wearing plate carriers yeah, with plates. Yeah, the ones that are carrying the ones. Yeah, that no doubt. About, yeah, no doubt. They're the ones that look all but militarized. Those are the ones that you see them Velcro on that are blue that say police or FBI. That's the soft armor. Correct. Can stock, or can the ones you see nine millimeter or below. Uh, you know, those armor plates have a very distinct shape. You know, so you can really tell somebody's wearing plates. At least cops, because they're not trying to hide. It's not a concealable. Yeah, a lot of them when they if they're wearing situation. that jacked up, they've got it on mm -hmm. outside of their clothing. Right. Yeah. Everybody thinks they're ready for war, but they're not. It's a. There's a quote that I've heard a million times on the Rogan podcast where he talks about hard times. Hard times make strong men. Strong men make soft times, uh, or easy times. Easy times make soft men. And we're in a time of easy times, and we, we have a bunch of soft men. Soft. And I can see what you mean by people thinking they're ready for war because they play Xbox or PlayStation. Or right, PC. So right. They think that, you know, oh, I can, you know, I can shoot this motherfucker yeah. in this motherfucking face. And yeah, you might be it, and, and that ain't even what it's about. You, people you, get so hung up on fucking whether or not you can pull the trigger. The question is, what the fuck is going to happen when somebody shoots at your dumb ass? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, that's, when, that's when you're adrenaline. Yeah. Motherfuckers and just spray and yeah, play. no shit. But like, getting shot at is where and you it's like wait, like a sniper doesn't have to worry about that. But I don't know if you realize this or not. You got to be one high speed motherfucker to be a sniper, you know. And and there ain't nobody in the civilian uh, civilian right now that could just be a sniper tomorrow if the shit hit the fan. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, no, depending on range. Well, I'm like, what do you what do you consider a sniper? Because if we're just aiming down the street, I'm going to tag you. You know what I mean? That's if not I'm a going sniper, stop man. Stop I'm talking sign, about you know I mean? sniper operations in, in some yeah, high no, somewhere waiting on, on, you know. And all that shit. Yeah, I don't exactly. Know. Well, I mean, I dudes, what I'm even you can learn that, though. Terrain. You can learn that. And that's not the, the pure essence of being a sniper. That's like one skill that a sniper right, has is quiet, shooting a sniper rifle. You know making what I'm a ghillie suit, there's just, shit yeah, in my pants with Being no adaptive problem. and just getting there's, eaten there's, up there's, by ants and not moving. Yeah, and even I'm even military guy. dudes know that any old Joe Blow can't just be a yeah. sniper. No, I don't. You know I mean, I'm that's why I say depending on what you consider a sniper in the range. Because you're talking about me sitting in somebody's attic and just pulling the trigger at somebody down the street because that's what times we have. Uh, you know, I, you can snipe somebody all day long that way. But what you're saying, absolutely not. That and that and that's another thing when people are talking about. There's this, there's this guy. Um, he's got a YouTube channel called Warrior Post Society. His name's John Lovell. I'm not a big fan of his politics, but this guy is. Uh, it's a tactical dude. Uh, it's a pre prior uh, ranger, and uh, he knows he knows some shit. And he's got a YouTube channel and stuff, but. Um, he did this kind of thing on on bug out bags. Everybody's all on bug out bags, and he he makes a really good point to that. Like with a bug out bag, you can grab your shit and take off. Like, are you bringing your family with you? You know what I'm saying? Like, how long are you gonna be able to legitimately sustain in a complete societal collapse with that stupid bag you got? You know what I'm saying? Like, realistically speaking, I'm not. I'm not a commie. I'm not a communist. But I'm big on community. And he even stresses that and that what ultimately what you're going to have to do is be able to stand your ground, be able to protect your area, your shit, secure your shit. Um, and to do that, realistically speaking, if you've got any kind of military training, you know it's going to take manpower. It's going to take a collective effort from a group of people. There's not one thing you can do or one thing one family can do. It's going to, you know, they're you're going to have to patrol this area. You know what village. I mean? It's huh? It takes a village. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. So and that's why it, it's important to be in a community with like-minded individuals who get together and talk about things like that in a situation, you know. And that's what I mean when I, and, and I don't necessarily mean a full-fledged commune where 
we're growing our own food, but you do need to be self-sustained in some way, shape, or form. Yeah. And it's not, it's not crazy like so people think go, it is. Now I'm let's not. Let's go get 50 acres. I mean, I mean that would be dope. Shit, you missed your opportunity on the city limits with a good one, which would have been that one off of Clyde Fant where they built the apartments. Mm -hmm. I always talked about that one being. It already had part. the street and shit in yep. there. Yeah. That was outside city limits. No, it was in city limits. Uh, I, see, I, I can again. I said in, if you missed the opportunity, but that was the best spot for. Limits. Yeah, right there by the Something. river. Easy bug out to the river. Oh, yeah. uh, one way in. One way Who out. do we know that lives Two in way. the country? I just want to go and do some country boy shit, man. Like I want to. Mostly, I want to shoot guns. So why don't you go to uh, uh, call? What spot? Where? What's that bike call? I've only free ever free camped range. and fished free there. there. Yeah. there on the other side of the the levee, if you keep going a little bit, there's a, uh, a range. I believe it's free, right? I think so. Oh, last time I remember. It's, going if out there, it's not free, it's cheap. Yeah, I think it's free. Dang. Yeah, I think that's what yeah. you do is buy buy targets. Huh? And they got some some distance, some range. Uh, yeah. If I'm I not mean, mistaken. when it comes, I mean, I don't I'm, remember, man. I remember shooting a shotgun out there and. Uh, Mac ninety. I'm pretty sure they've got, uh, they've got oh, Mac ninety, mu That's multi classic. hundred meter. <laughs> I was the guy That's on nice. the range. Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. He had a hellfire trigger on that too. The and there was some guy trying to sight in his hunting <laughs> hunting rifle yeah, and exactly. my dumb ass is Get some. Uh, Get some. I'm not worried. Uh. I'm not worried about people shooting or you know hearing shots or anything like that. Cause that, I mean, at this day and age, your hearing protection is so good that you don't even you don't even hear that shit. It's so good that you like, may have a class action lawsuit if you served in the military. Right. <laughs> bro, those motherfuckers don't stop emailing me, bro. I'm coming in lock on their door, bro. They like, I my dumb ass like they'll I I took the bait, and they were like send some. Send some of your, uh, all, all you need to send us a thing that says you got a disability rating for tenants. Don't you have one for that? Yeah. Uh. Well, I just was like, uh, eh. uh, maybe I should, just to see what happens. Well, I mean, that's, I mean, all, they they, me that's all they want. They don't want, like, a, an account number. They don't want your social. Nah. No, and then they're going to come back to him and say, hey, because of this and how well, you're I mean, part of like, the class action yeah. lawsuit. It's, now not, it goes, it's my understanding it's not a class action lawsuit. Oh, it's, then what it is is it's already it's, been passed. Yeah. They well, got, they, they well, they made check. they did. They made a deal where there's they were ordered to pay some sort of reimbursement to something, but it wasn't to the clients. It was some it was some kind of they won like some kind of civil case or something. And then now, instead of a class action lawsuit, they're getting together and, like, suing individually on behalf of each person. Oh. So that each person gets an individual award. And it's not some silly shit where you end up with eight bucks because ten million people somehow well, look, were affected get, by this. You either get eight dollars cash or we give you a hundred thousand shares. Was that many people in the military Hollywood video. when you were serving? No, but that's how many people are going to fraudulently. That fucking tonight is from wearing those ear fraudulent claims. I hear you what my homeboy was in the military between 2005 and 2009, and he gave me a bunch of ear pro that I used. My shit's ringing right now, bro. Huh? What? Turn up my headphones. I gotta sleep with Rick and Morty on every night because of this shit. I go to sleep to mash just to keep my nerves. <laughs> I watch a generation kill every night. I do watch mash every night before I go to bed. I know you do. Start yeah. at season, ep season one, episode one, and just go all the way through it and keep it going. I've been doing that shit for years. Like every night you started on episode one? You know what we... Every night. You know, I, you know what my wife and I started doing? Uh-oh. We <laughs> Butt stuff start, so y'all don't have more kids? <laughs> nah, man. I'm way too big for that. Uh, <laughs> um, no, nah, we started watching the the MCU uh, like the all the again? yeah, all the movies again. Right. Like but in the order that in the order they were released. Not are the, you doing not chronological? Are you doing MCU movies or shows? Just movies, not okay, shows. So it's not like you're doing Agent. I didn't. Carter. I'm not doing Agent Carter. Okay. I was gonna say because if you're doing Agent Carter, you went from no, Captain America to Agent Carter. Which yeah, that did come out. I mean, chronologically, both chronologically and by release order, I'm pretty sure that's correct. 
I think Agent Carter was way after. I think I I've seen, be wrong. I don't know. I haven't seen Agent Carter, but I think I've seen all of the movies. I have too. In the order that the internet tells yeah. you to, I well, think is the way I watch. Oh, them. chronologically, like the order so. they happened in yeah. the actual time. Actually, I take that back. That's not how I watched them. I, I watched them about release as they date. came man, about. This motherfucker saw Iron Man three before he even saw Iron Man. He was watching Avengers no, Endgame. No, no, Iron, the Iron Mans I watched in order <laughs> before he saw yeah. Thor. But I did. I did. <laughs> well, all three of the Iron Mans came out before the second Avenger came out. Mm -hmm. Well, look. Let me just no say, before the first Avenger. Let me came just say out. this. I am the guy Maybe. that watched no, the last no, fifteen right. minutes of uh, Breaking, Bad. Breaking Bad before I watched any of the show a decade later uh so i am also the guy that watched that's terrible uh, that Endgame, show was great. or what was the last one it was the last Endgame. one game i watched that one before i watched any of the other <laughs> avenger movies it just happened that way well i guess it's kind of pointless i brought this up then I what? enjoy them. I'm on the same. You no, know, I've seen totally them. Totally ruined it for I've yourself. I've seen them all. Like, I mean, you're watching them in the order that they were fucking released, so it didn't. Uh, that's know, how I originally watched it them. It doesn't tell the story like it should. I know the story, but I, I you know what? I'll, I'll go back and I'm gonna watch them. You and know, or they were released. And which which way should I do it? Uh, well, the or they were released intended. is kind of random. Yeah, I <laughs> so would do it do the it, way it's intended. Do it the way it's intended. Mm -hmm. I'll do it again with Jay, starting with Captain America: First Avenger. Yeah. That's the one with the dude with the red face, right? Yep, red skull. Yeah, and then the is that Agent Smith? Yep, in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Agent Carter. Agent Carter. No, 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 no. The guy with the red face is uh, that the guy that played Agent Smith yes. in the Matrix? He was also in Lord of the Rings. With ears. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure was. Well, dude. And then I've had, I've had a hell of a hoot. I've had a hell of a hoot. I I didn't even realize we weren't hooting no more. Yeah. yeah. No, we're not. We're oh, we're almost there. Yeah. So you know what that means. Who's going to say it tonight? Kaboom. There it is. Hey, before we go, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. You said that's your platform. Yeah, P.S. No, I'm not doing that. Oh, wait. There, there is one thing that I wanted to mention from the last time that I was featured on this podcast. The last thing, and it's ironic that this is the last thing we're going to talk about, but the last thing you talked about last time, uh, you showed some pictures. And you showed a picture of this uh, little kid who was pulling dolls out of the whatever and you, you butchered the name of the artist is what happened after I reviewed this. And you called it a, a, bans, a Bansky or something like that. And I said, it looks like a knockoff Banksy is what it is. <laughs> and I wanted to clear that up. Because it turns out it's a real Banksy. and Because you, you were kind of like, oh, whatever, you know. Because you thought I was being a dick. But the reason... No, I, 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 don't, I just recall... I recall when we were talking about the name, I, did, I was trying to pronounce it, mm -hmm. not being able to say. Yeah, it. yeah and, no, and I wouldn't pronounce it right. I didn't and take it. I, I well, the thing was, it like, stick with me that you don't, don't, dick. Yeah, I don't no. even remember. Well, it. It, it bothered me because it turns out it was the actual Banksy, and um, so I just wanted to say the the reason that I got so defensive about it like that is because if you're familiar, I'm a big fan of Banksy, and if you're familiar with his shit, when he first came on the scene, the nature of his work was illegal because he was tagging shit. He was vandalizing shit. He was putting up his artwork on build, public buildings. You know, just all kind of different shit, you know. Um, but he had a very distinct style. So when I saw the thing that, that you showed me, I immediately recognized the style. That was the one but where the, thing the kid is, was playing with the, the nurse doll. Yeah. Out yeah. of the superhero pile mm -hmm. of dolls, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. A really g a great fucking, great, great print. That thing's awesome. Yeah, and that. it was definitely in the style of a Banksy. So I was like, it's a knockoff Banksy is what it is. But later I found out that it's an actual Banksy. And the reason I got so defensive about that is there's a, uh, there's a documentary that I'm assuming you guys haven't seen called Exit Through the Gift Shop. And what happened to Banksy is because the nature of his work initially was illegal, he didn't profit off of it at all. But people took his work and reproduced it and sold it. Specifically, um, you guys may remember those Obey shirts that had Andre the Giant on them. Do you guys remember seeing those at one period in time? I do not. Uh, well, they were they were pretty popular. If I saw it, I might recall it. Yeah, they were pretty popular or whatever. Uh, that dude specifically... Picture. Um, Try to find it. Yeah, we'll maybe find a picture of that. Uh, but I guess what I was trying to say is that uh, people stole his shit and started selling it. Like I, I have a Banksy hanging in my in my but apartment. He didn't make money off of it. But yeah, exactly. There's not like he never sold this 
a painting. Is he still it's alive? Very clearly, yes. He's, he just painted that <laughs> thing He's that happened. He painted, painted, painted a COVID nineteen picture, bro. I don't fucking know. Don't you know. remember that picture what? that we that I showed on one episode? It was a painting. It was a painting. He for the actually at the showed hospital. it on the thing. Yeah. It's not like fake showed it. Like, no, <laughs> like yeah, I just know. I, I, yeah, no, it's, a, it's a really cool painting of a little girl. It was a little girl, little boy. I think it was a little girl. Uh, and she's playing with a doll like a kid would be playing with a doll, right? And, but it's a nurse. And the other dolls that she has to choose from are superheroes. It's Superman, Spider-Man, you know, superhero yeah. dolls. Uh-huh. So she's playing with the superhero doll, the nurse. Uh, yeah. So it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful picture of, you know, for the COVID-19 and, uh, you know, for the, to support for the, notion, for the, the nurses, nurses staff. Yeah. And how they're the superheroes of all this, yeah, uh, but yeah, it's a great picture. And yeah, I, di- I didn't take it as you being a dick. And I don't. I just remember us not knowing how to say it. I remember seeing it and thinking it was awesome. But you guys know what now jeans are, right? The the water bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay. So I'm I'm kind of a gear queer, and uh, so there's a gear company called Spirited Systems that makes kind of hard to get gear in the sense that they sell out within 10 to 20 minutes of restock every time. Um, so. They make they make also a Nalgene, which if you don't know what that is, just a little fucking ten dollar water bottle, thirty two ounce clear water bottle. Yeah, thirty two. On the side with a wide mouth screw. Pharaoh's got yeah, one. Yeah, uh, there's exactly like six of them here. Yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I got them. There, we go. Camping. So they make they make Nalgenes that have. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but they're great for putting hot water in and using as a heater in a cold night in a sleeping bag. Continue. Duly noted. So I just bought three of them because the Spirit of System makes them, and it has their their logo on the side. Um, and everybody in that. There, so there's a Facebook community also. If you, if you want to, if you ever want to look, it's called uh, the Spirit of Symptoms. It's a Facebook group. Um, but one of the big things in that particular uh, culture, I should say, is um, what they call slaps, which is stickers uh, that you put on and shit. So. Mm-hmm. I I just got my door. uh, Yeah, yeah, Yeah. like that. So that that's kind of been my thing lately. Uh, Damn, I forgot what the fuck I started talking about now. Hey man, this three guys, three hoops, man, shit like that happens, bro. What the fuck (laughs) led me to this? We've been rambling on for a while. Uh, Let's see. You were talking about this company and now Jean bottles, and you got three of them. One of them's glow in the dark. They're hard to get. uh, And putting slaps on them. Oh, because you were talking about the shirt thing, right? Is that what? I don't. I just continue. No, the painting, thing, the painting thing. The painting thing. Or, or poster, 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 all posters. Poster. There it is. There it is. <laughs> we got it. We're back. Full circle. We're back. Anyway, so do you guys? Uh, <laughs> do you guys uh, watch Avatar: The Last Airbender? Yes. Okay. So I found this company that makes stickers, right? And then a buddy of mine on Facebook posted this thing, and it said, "You heard an elf on the shelf." Well, now introducing, and it showed a picture of, he has a big bison, right? And do you know the bison's name off the top of your head? Mm-mm. His name is Appa, and it was, and the bison's holding an AK. So it's like, you heard a elf on the shelf. We're now introducing Oppa with a chopper. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew so, these people were. I know. It's, it's, <laughs> it's super abstract. So I found this company that makes stickers. And uh, I had ten of them printed. There you go, <laughs> Alpha with the chopper. There you go, and, with the uh, chopper. I can't wait to put it on my spirit. Is now Gene. <laughs> I, lo- I love stickers, man. That's great. Yeah, you see that door? I mean, I bought. Uh, I think it was 150 stickers for that door. So, and then some of them are ones that I've collected. I've got three in the door in the door of my truck for the for that door. <laughs> what's and what's crazy is I'm gonna sell that door at this house. Should I get with you? No, I'm not putting another door up there. I'm leaving the mag lock and everything. I want to put them. <laughs> I'm leaving the instructions on how to change the code <laughs> and all the extra key fobs that I have. Boom. You may want to change those. <laughs> Delete all those from the record. Anyway, right, they're super do exclusive. I, I don't know how far we've gone, but I know we're deep into it. We yeah. might even be an hour. Yeah, over. I'm sure my wife's like, what the fuck? Sorry, right, babe. Well, anything else? Love you. I got nothing. All it right, looks well, like it's raining outside. It sounds like it's thundering its tits off out there. Look. All right. Well, guess what, everybody? Kaboom. Have you hit stop? No, I mean, but that's where my edit is. Like, where my comment, edit is. subscribe, hit oh, the notifications bell. Oh, yeah. 
Don't Don't forget. Yeah. Do yeah. all that yeah. shit, man. Well, no, that's what you're supposed comments, to be our guy. Man. All got... right, so we got a guy, maybe. The guy might be this guy. He may be that guy. Let us know how he is. What do y'all say? Yeah, but he's somewhat interesting. If he does a good job, then people will be letting us know what they think because that means he'll be finding traffic. That's right. So. Come on, guy. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Guy, you find a guy. Man. You got a guy one, for a guy. One guy. day, one day a week. One day at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time. We'll one day at a time. my wife loses interest in the podcast, I'll <laughs> fast forward to the end of it so that she can hear how you guys genuinely want me to help with this project. Oh hell yeah, definitely. And maybe. All right, well I'm fucking this All up. All right, so we're I'm definitely not editing thing. up until that point now. So until now. I don't give a fuck what you do. Damn. Not like that. Damn. 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 Come on, the man. Yeah, Come we were trying to, yeah. Oh, Being the gal. Yeah, that's why we're saying he we're going to edit. We're going to let her hear that we're wanting you to come actively partake in this. With yeah, us. and then. Do you want to, yeah, you want sure. like to recite a poem to her and I'll put it at the very I just want you guys to like uh, wash my kids sometime or something. Wash, <laughs> wash your kids? Babies. Watch them. Watch hey, man, them. I'm sure, you know what, How, both of them or just one? <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's, yeah. It's, hey, man, it's your. I got three, dude. Whatever. I lost. I lost that shit a long time yeah, ago, I feel too, you. buddy. I feel you. So yeah, people quit when you, when you have more than one. People quit. Fucking what saying, are y'all trying yeah, to get? No, out bring over here or something. I guarantee you, anything. I'm trying to have kid number God three. Goddamn, like literally since. Yeah, right? No, we're not doing that either. Yeah. Better no, not. A, no. Three's but, man. Don't do it. Don't China's do got it right, man. One. Stop when my, one. when when uh, so the rest my, my of youngest has been in alive now for another seven months, six six and a half months, and he's we've been away from him a total of five hours. He's total. Been, I've been away from the house. Well, <laughs> so, yeah, been that's uh, that's what I've been up All to. Right. So, so uh, you know, if I can't be the guy, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. There's gonna be a good for reason that, for, for that reason. Okay, so but you right. don't make it a really sexy appeal to watch your kids. You're like, all they do is scream. Uh, all they, like, all oh. they do is scream, 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 scream. scream. Well, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Uh, I mean, gonna, I, no, I appreciate it. Nico, Nico. Uh, well, my oldest son. Do you not son, sing to him? Yeah. Yeah, no, I sing, sing and to dance him. and all that, sing and that helps too. But I can't. Have, have you ever played ball? Sing and dance all goddamn day and night. Look, if they're if they're having trouble going to sleep here, and we'll end on this note because we got to end this. So this is what you do. You play bonk. And what you do, and I know your ceilings are low enough in your apartment, so you take them and you hold them up and you shake them and then you bonk their head on the ceiling as hard <laughs> as you can and they go right to fucking right sleep. Right to sleep. And you go right to jail. All right, everybody.